Hi, I'm Rachel, and welcome to me screaming into the void, mostly about books. And uh, today we're going to talk about something very, very interesting, and I'm looking very much forward to it. And that is Shorty September. And look, there's scenes. I love it when the readathons actually put in the extra effort to this. And uh, in these scenes, there are uh, 12 prompts. We had to fill out. And as you maybe saw, I have three scenes that I've now filled out because I'm going to try using physical books, audio books, uh, and stuff like that, to try and read 30 books in September. Now, Shorty September is a readathon that is about reading short books. In my case, I've defined it as books under 250 pages, but a lot of them are much, much shorter than that. Um, and there are props, there are scenes, and this is my TBR. So some of these are probably uh, a bit uh, creative <laughs> when trying to do it, because they are very interesting with the scenes, but yeah, we'll just go through it. So the first prompt is something called Spanx. So it's called Shorty September. So the theme is shorts. And of course, Spanx, which does magic on your body. And therefore, Spanx are a book with magic or witchcraft. Uh, I have two books that qualify for that. Uh, one is uh, the magic toy shop. I don't have a physical copy. Hopefully I'll manage to put up a picture <laughs> somewhere uh, by Nagela Carter. So that's going to be interesting. And the other one is Neil Gaiman. And the uh, this is the Norwegian translation of his book, The Ocean at the End of the Lane. So that's going to be uh, fun. The second prompt we have is Hoochie Daddy shirts, which is a spicy read or a revealing gossipy biography, sort of, you know, hot. In addition to YouTube and everything like that, you have um, Storygraph, which is an app that I'm using uh, where you can go in, find books that uh, are in the different uh, prompts and uh, follow along on other people who are going to read with you. And so the two books I, I chose for the sort of hoochie daddy prompt uh, are based on suggestions from uh, Storygraph or members of Storygraph, and that is My Uncle Oswald by Roald Dahl. I have absolutely no idea what this is about, but based on what is on the back, yeah, probably. And uh, The Lover by uh, Margarita Ras. So I'm uh, assuming those are going to be quite hot. The third prompt that we're doing are shorty shorts from the 70s and 80s. I, I haven't actually said that uh, uh, the readathon is created by uh, Pastori and uh, Soggy Expat Book Nerd, also Heather. Here they are, back of the zine. 
And I just have to tell uh, you guys, brilliant, brilliant prompts. Uh, so, I have uh, two books for uh, from the 70s and 80s. These were both published in, uh, I think, were both published in the 80s. Yeah, both published in the 80s. Um, this book uh, called Ilstedne Synger. Uh, in in Norway, we have an indigenous groups called the Sami, and this is just a collection of Sami short stories and poems and stuff like that. So that's going to be quite interesting to read, and also Arkady and Boris Strogadovsky Roadside Picnic. So we're trying to sort of spread out sort of what it's about. The fourth prompt that we're doing, I did not um, fit this together, as you probably see. Uh, but the fourth prompt we're going to do is half and half, which was a type of short I did not know ever existed. <laughs> But those are read a book and then watch the movies. So I have three uh, books that fit into that category. Uh, it's uh, The Comet in Mumuland uh, by uh, Tove Jansson. And uh, it's a part of her... Mumi universe, um, and this one is also illustrated. And there's actually two film versions of uh, The Comet is Coming. So that's going to be interesting to figure out which one of them I'm going to see. If I'm going to see both, I'm not really sure about that yet. Um, the other one is Rosencrantz and Gilderstern is Dead. That's a play by Tom Stoppard that I've wanted to read um, for quite a while. I'm a huge Shakespeare fan. <laughs> and uh, the third book that I'm going to uh, see and read, or read and see, is uh, the, to the Postman Always Rings Twice by Cain, and hopefully a picture will emerge. The next prompt is mom shorts and that's just a comfort read and to me a comfort read is Agatha Christie and Agatha Christie when I'm sick I'm I have to read or listen to Agatha Christie uh, because she is such an amazing author that it writes in a way that's not too complicated so I can still follow along even if I might be sick and therefore my head isn't in the best space but she also is so clever in writing that I don't get annoyed <laughs> by the writing so, for uh, the comfort uh, read, I am going with uh, Poirot Investigates, Death in the Clouds, and The ABC Murders. Um, I just picked three books <laughs> uh, that I hadn't read yet. And that's quite interesting because the next one is Ripped Shorts which is a mystery or a slasher. And I'm going to have three for this one as well. It's not everyone who's going to have three, um, but this one does. And that's simply because then I'll read another Agatha Christie. <laughs> it, still, it still counts. It still counts. It's technically a murder. And um, the other two I'm doing is uh, Iron Banks, The Wasp Factory, and Charles Bukowski's Factotum. 
and it's it's quite interesting because again i'm just going off the descriptions that i have them it's not necessarily um sort of i don't know if, if slasher is the right term for these but they are horror even if they might be more psychological horror but those are going to be also quite interesting And then we have Elizabethan style shorts. And I've, having just exclaimed the fact that I'm a huge Shakespeare fan, I'm not doing any Shakespeare. But I am doing uh, two books that were published in the 1500s. One is... The Prince by Machiavelli and the other one is uh, Bartholomew Fair by Ben Jonson and Ben, jo ben Jonson was actually one of uh, Shakespeare's contemporary playwriters and uh, he is uh, was one of the sort of huge playwrights uh, at Shakespeare's time. Shakespeare wasn't really that. He, he was popular, but it wasn't sort of one of the huge writers. Uh, ben Jonson was one of the huge writers. So I am going to use this as uh, a reason to just read, finally read Ben Jonson. And the next one is Lederhosen, which is just a translated book. I have three uh, in here, and they are um, No One Writes to the Colonel by uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez and Black Snow by um, Bulgakov. And uh, the third one that I've chosen to put here is actually uh, Albert Camus. And that is that I'm trying to do a project uh, that I'm hoping is uh, going to land quite soon. And I'm going to use this as a way of you sort of checking off Camus. And that is I'm going to uh, do a series on uh, different Nobel uh, literature winners. So I've picked uh, one book, which is uh, Kipling, which means I'm going to finish off my uh, Kipling uh, preparations, um, which we're, we're going to get to um, in one of the other prompts. And uh, the next one after Kipling is actually going to be Kami. So I've also f actually filled uh, a lot of the prompts with Kami. <laughs> Uh, among other things, um, Exile and the Kingdom. And the next one is uh, Pedro Pascal Shorts, which is an unexpected purchase. And Unexpected uh, purchase is to me pretty much just something that I just grabbed while buying other books as well. And it's Marguerite Duras, uh, Moderato Contiballi. Contiballi. I have no idea how you're pronouncing that. Um, and it's also uh, Panin by. Vladimir Nabokov. So this is going to be quite interesting uh, considering I only know about Nabokov and Lolita. So that's going to be... Uh, see how unexpected that is. <laughs> and the next one is Dolphin Shorts which is a book 
with water on the cover. And um, one of them is Red Kipling, as I just stated, um, Just So Stories. And this is then going to be the last one. And then hopefully I'm going to be able to make a video about uh, Kipling as the first of uh, the Nobel uh, literature winners. So if you're interested, and then I'm going to talk about him. And um, the other one I'm going to read is also in a series that I'm doing. I, I have this project where I'm trying to read around the world. And I'm picking five and five countries at a time. And then I'm reading them whenever I can. And then I go on to next five and next five. And it, it just happened, uh, quite a coincidence, that uh, some of them that I picked actually fit in to this category. So uh, I don't have a physical copy, but uh, uh, the other book which has water on the cover is The Tale of Aipi, uh, which is uh, written by Ackman. And is he is a Turkmenistan writer, so uh, he is going to get his own entire video reading uh, vlog for those who want to um, see that because it fits into um, the other the other reading projects that I'm having going on. <laughs> Uh, the next prompt that we are going on are Lodge Shorts, uh, which is a book you bought because you were trying to look cool. I, I don't really... Uh, this is again an, uh, a type of shorts where I'm not really familiar with, but I do know the concept of buying things just because you want to look cool. So I'm absolutely buying that one. And I have uh, three books uh, which fits into this prompt. And two of them are also fitting in into the reading around the world. And the reason uh, I'm talking about that is, and wanted to have that in those prompts is because who you want to look cool for is of course based on the values who you want to be influenced by who you want to try and influence what group you want to in in and out groups and of course having a project like reading around the world it's trying to make you fit in to a sort of group so any kind of sort of communication about what kind of books you are reading are in a sense fitting into things you do to try to look cool. So um, the two books that are fitting into reading around the world uh, project that I'm doing that are also fitting in here is Pass It On which is um, Tales from the British Virgin Islands and it's Feats in Chains, which is by a Welsh author. So those two books will also get their own reading vlog because I'm doing a reading vlog on each of the books uh, regarding that. And the third one that fits in has to do with the fact that I collect a very specific series of Dostoevsky's books. <laughs> Um, they're not really that expensive, it just happened and I thought it looked cool and I thought I looked cool having these cool books on my bookshelf. So I'm going to read uh, notes from The Underground uh, with Dostoevsky. And the last prompt that we're doing is the Den Denim Shorts, a modern classic. 
and this is alchemy. I said, uh, I did warn that I was going to try to fit Camus in. Um, I only have one uh, physical copy of Camus uh, of them, that is The Stranger. But I'm also uh, reading uh, The Fall and The Myth of Sisyphus and other essays by Camus. So that's the 30 books I'm trying to read for short September. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> um, I am pro going to uh, have a reading vlog for some of them that I've already mentioned. Uh, if you want to have a, a vlog or a video about a specific book, uh, please let me know in the comments uh, below. Always happy to uh, talk about books. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm also going to then use uh, the Kipling book for a video about Kipling and the Camus books for a video about Camus. Uh, but, and other than that, I'm probably just going to have uh, summaries of my experience at the end of the month to talk generally about the other books. Unless someone is sort of saying, we need a video about that one. Join me on this journey. Uh, if you're going to do Shorty September, please let me know uh, what are your uh, books for that, uh, for these different prompts. Uh, did you also have sort of difficulty with f figuring out certain prompts? Because I was figuring, because I found out that certain prompts were very easy and other prompts were like, do I have anything? There. I, I don't read a lot about magic and witchcraft. That's what I learned about myself doing this project. I do not read uh, a lot about magic or witchcraft. And maybe I should. Now I have two books that I'm going to read more about. So, thank you for joining me, Screaming Into the Void, and good luck to everyone with reading shortest.